Yep, that's what we're dealing with. So we're just fueling up the combine this morning. We're gonna get started here in a little bit. After I get that done, I need to blow some trash off the combine, get this throat cleaned up. Um, I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go yet. I haven't talked to dad yet this morning. He's uh, dumping the trucks from last night. Once we get kind of figured out where we're gonna go, we'll get this thing moved, start picking some corn. We picked a few acres since we got the rear wheel drive installed and it is definitely helping. I, we for sure would not be able to run without it in most of our ground. The conditions are, well, they're pretty terrible. We had one farm in particular that I basically just cut a rut from one end to the other on every pass. It's just so wet and it's not warm enough to even dry the ground out now. So that's what we got to do. The only way we could do it without cutting a rut would be to wait till the ground freezes. And that might happen in a couple weeks. It might not happen till January, or I guess it could not happen at all. So we got to pick the corn. We got to get it out of the field. It's time, it's going down. We've already lost some because of that windstorm. It's time to get the corn picked. I got the combine blown off. Not perfect, but good enough. We're gonna get moving here. Uh, we decided to go back to dad's house. So what we got going on is we got a bin, the drying bin there that's just about full, but when we filled it, a lot of times it'll load heavy to one side. So what we'll, what we'll do is we'll let the stirators go around and level it off and then put the last load or two or three or however many it takes to finish it off. Corn's real dry. It's running 16, 17%. So it's not gonna take much heat to actually dry it. So we're going to go over there, pick a little bit of corn, top that bin off, and see where we're at from there. All right, we're in the field. Let's get this thing set up. Uh, Todd and Weston, we're going to need the iPad. I take it home every once in a while to let the climate upload to the cloud because this iPad doesn't have a data plan. And I always worry that we're gonna lose our data somehow if I don't upload it every once in a while. So I did that last night. Farm, Wyatt 100, 100. Map, come on, come on, there we go. The only thing we have left to do is find my breakfast. Where are you? There you are. So we're going to dive in here. Dad's still taking the last load of corn to town. He should be back uh, pretty quick. So I'm going to get started. This is a field that we've been having a lot of trouble with the mud. So we got our rear wheel drive in. We're going to get started. See if we can't get this thing stuck. Check this out. Yep, that's what we're dealing with. So the plan was to no-till beans in this farm next year, but as you can probably imagine, you cannot no-till in, into these conditions. So we're gonna have to do something. It's gonna be too wet to do anything with this this fall. I'm, I'm assuming most likely it'll be too wet. So we'll have to do something next spring either like a disc or maybe we can get some kind of vertical tillage machine that could level this off. I'd really like to try a high-speed disc. So there, if there's any companies out there that are watching this who would let me demo a high-speed disc for like four or 500 acres, that'd be awesome. But anyways, we're gonna have to do something with this. I really like no-tilling as much as I can, but sometimes you just don't have an option. 
And this farm is bad enough, we're gonna have to do the whole thing. We're not gonna be able to come out here and just do the tracks. We rutted, <coughs> sorry, we rutted the whole thing up. Oh man, got my boots all muddy. Dad's back, I think we're gonna go get the grain cart now. pushes the combine around and I have to really work the steering wheel to fight it to stay on the row. Kind of like this. You can see the it's kind of like pushing the head side to side. But anyways what I was just thinking was a neighbor of ours they just demoed one of those ideal combines and they, they, they demoed the ideal 10 which doesn't have a steering wheel it just has a joystick on the left side. Which actually, at first thought, I thought it would be really cool because then you don't have to look through the steering wheel to pay attention to what you got going on, especially like when you're cutting beans and you're really trying to watch the head or whatever. But then I just thought, you know, when you are going through muddy conditions and you really got to work that steering wheel, you kind of know where your wheels are pointed because of how much you turn the wheel. So I think it'd be kind of difficult working that joystick to kind of know where your wheels are at. So. I don't know, just a thought. I'm, I'll probably never get a chance to run one, at least for a long time, so I guess I don't have to worry about it. All right, so we got a little bit of an issue here. I was trying to pick along some trees and the reel got tangled up in a tree branch that I wasn't really paying attention to. And it popped this mount off here. So, I don't think it hurt anything for the time being but I can't run it like this. So I'm gonna have to go up to the house and we'll probably have to use a loader tractor and see if we can get this thing popped back where it needs to be. It actually flipped the whole thing up so the reel was sitting back here. And I backed up a little bit and it pulled it back to this point. So hopefully I didn't bend anything. I'm gonna go look at the other side, see what we got. It's my own fault, I should have known better. There's probably not even hardly any corn along these trees anyway. I should have just left it. Um, it may have bent it a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. I just hope it didn't bend any of those arms. Yeah, so. I guess we'll go to the house and see what we got. What a mess. All right, so I think what we're gonna have to do is just pick this up with the loader tractor and then unhook the chain so we can flop this back up on top of here. And we are missing a bolt, I see that. So we'll probably get a bolt in that thing, get it tightened up. I really hope I didn't tweak anything because those arms run really close to the snoots and I don't wanna have to adjust all of them again or bend stuff back. It definitely bent it a little bit right there. I don't know, we're just gonna have to put it back together and see what we got. I don't think it hurt it, you know, beyond functionality yet, but we'll get it going. We can't use the loader tractor till we get done dumping the truck into the bin. So we gotta do that first. <laughs>
25. Counting the one that's got the full feet. This one too? Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty,
Uh, we're not really sure what we're gonna end up doing here. We might have to pick it all one way going downhill as much as we can. I mean, I don't wanna have to do that, but at this point, what do you do? I mean, you gotta pick the corn, so. Thankfully, it's standing pretty well here. Um, I guess that's the upside to it. And there's only 23 acres, so at least it's not like a quarter of a section or something. So at least it's it's a manageable amount of acres if we do have to pick it one way. We gotta pick what it one way. This is, I can't believe Jerry's disking over there. Yeah, the neighbor is disking right next to us. I can't believe it's good enough for him to do that. Can come any farther. He told me to stop. boy dad just got on the radio and says he thinks we're gonna have to wait for this farm to freeze because there's not a whole lot we can do here yep this is a mess We moved to a different farm. I know this one's gonna be wet too, but maybe it will be less wet than the last one. That one we just could not get through. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. I wish I knew someone who had a combine with tracks or something that would just wanna come in there and knock it out for us. Otherwise, we're probably gonna have to wait till it freezes, which like I said earlier, could be in a couple weeks. Might not happen at all, who knows? So we're gonna keep rolling here, trying to push forward and just get something done while we can. dark now the time change was this weekend and it's really really dumb it's already dark I don't know much but I do know that that grain cart is very much full I don't think I could fit one more kernel on there wait for dad to get back with the truck the elevator is gonna be closed here pretty quick uh, as soon as he gets back we are gonna top the truck off fill it up for tonight and hit it again tomorrow morning this field's going a lot better we're actually able to get through this part of the field anyway and uh we're not really slipping and sliding like the last field i'm thankful for that um that's gonna do it for this video conditions are terrible i don't think they're gonna get any better so we're just gonna make the best of it if we have to wait for it to freeze we have to wait for it to freeze that's all we can do uh we just gotta keep pushing forward persevere is that a word persevere a word perseverance you gotta have perseverance just have a little faith and know that you'll get it done eventually so that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.